RCAP Cold Space GP Challenge Rules U12 Category. This category is for students aged 12 and below. Welcome to the RoboCup Asia Pacific RCAP Cold Space Challenge. Automation of routine tasks is currently a concept that interests many industries. Among the most revolutionary parts of it are autonomous vehicles. These are visions of the future of city infrastructure. The main ideas they all share are self-driving cars and shared mobility. Those are set to revolutionize the ways we navigate through cities. In Cold Space GP Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. For the iCool Challenge, participants need to program an autonomous car to navigate in a smart city. The autonomous car needs to pass multiple waypoints before reaching its final destination. In this smart city, there are roads, buildings, color markers, black and white lines, and waypoints. In the iCool Challenge, there will only be a virtual robot. The robot has an IR sensor array, an ultrasonic sensor, and a RGB sensor. Students need to utilize the elements in the smart city to plan the best path and program the robot accordingly. Let's take a look at the game process. The duration of the game is eight minutes. That means the robot has to complete the whole journey within eight minutes. At the beginning of the game, the virtual robot is placed at the start station. When it travels towards the finish line or end station, the robot must pass all waypoints in any sequence. It does not need to stop at the waypoints. The game ends when the virtual robot arrives at the finish line in the virtual world. If the virtual robot passes all waypoints and reaches the finish line, the team rank is determined by the race time at the finish line in the virtual world. If the virtual robot is not able to pass all waypoints, regardless whether it reaches the finish line or not, the race time for the virtual robot to reach the last waypoint will be recorded. The team rank will be determined based on the number of waypoints passed, followed by the race time.